enjoy your juice 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 for juice wow <laughs> that's a new one <laughs> so uh, what juice is this i Which guess it, this is mosambi juice most what we call mosambi the seasonal sweet lime yeah yeah, yeah. sweet lime that is commonly available at this season it's yeah. available at some other times also so this is supposed to be very good for health because of vitamin c vitamin c i don't know even otherwise from childhood we've been hearing if you're ill yeah. or something then you have i've had a lot of it in my juice, childhood yes. yes especially when you're recovering from some illness okay some such thing so then that's a good juice to have almost every juice isn't every juice healthy now that's a tricky question okay it's a tricky question because juices it doesn't mean that anything you squeeze and anything can be made into a juice by any i mean any any fruit or any vegetable can be made into a juice whether it is carrot or it is uh, cucumbers or uh, so all those vegetables you know even bitter gourd and bottle mm-hmm. gourd really yes they are all turned into juices yeah. and then you can also have a mix, i think every green of, vegetable is healthy any any but not if it's in the raw form many people have it vegetables yeah. are, are healthy it's a new trend i guess it's not uh, that, that new also but it was it has been I mean, yeah, for I quite mean, some yeah. quite for, some for time for a decade if not less yeah. can't say <laughs> don't know about the history of these <laughs> juices <laughs> but somehow you know it, it is it time. is uh, assumed that if you are having a juice Hmm. Oh, and a vegetable juice, or even a concoction of many things. It is assumed that that is healthy. Look at this news. This is uh, on the seventeenth March of this year. That is two thousand twenty-three, which says that uh, fruit, veggie juice for detox may not be as healthy as you imagine. So this is, you know, the uh, key word here is fruit, veggie. Yeah. So when we are mixing up two kinds of juices. Uh, you don't know what is the chemistry between them, whether they are reacting or not, okay. and then uh, we don't really know what is happening. What is the end product? Yeah, it's quite possible that they are uh, both of them have different actions. They uh, may uh, may be helping out. Like I remember reading this article, so they may be helping out certain body parts, but what if it is having some bad impact on some other body part? For example, like they mention, uh, it's a very uh, very common sight these days when you go to the uh, park in the morning. outside the park there's generally a vendor you'll see he'll just put up all the green healthy vegetables apparently and fruits and amla and pudina and everything into it and make a juice and you like concoction very a concoction of those and you very happily just drink it you know why i'm laughing yeah i'm finding it very funny uh, because i'm reminded that when you go to them and they'll ask you okay what's your problem and then when you tell them that i have yes yes okay. some of them do some of them do and you know that if they'll ask you okay what well, so what's your ailment what is it that you are suffering from and you tell them that i have this problem or i have high say you say i have high pressure hmm. so then you okay and then he <laughs> he'll give you a made to order <laughs> juice as if he is the expert and he knows how it is which even you know doctors yeah <laughs> doctors oh, are there they have not been able to figure it out it's cute gesture but no i don't think we should it believe is, on that we are laughing but it's not yeah, really yeah, a laughing matter I know, I know. because this can have fatal consequences and they have had yeah so there have been cases where we you know people consume this kind of uh, concoction some vegetable juice okay. uh, especially you know bitter gourd or uh, bottle gourd loki and karela and all this when you are having that raw it's our digestive systems are not made in such a way that you can uh, digest it and that is mainly because vegetables are made of cellulose oh and, and the cell on digest cell that. wall is such that we cannot break it down hmm you can our systems cannot animals can do it yeah 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 otherwise it would be so easy you know you just go and eat grass or we just go and eat leaves like goats and cows do but there is a reason why we can't we cannot system. eat what they are eating because our digestive systems are not like that so the raw vegetables that are there oh can be toxic are you putting a lot of pressure on our it digestive it can be toxic system. it can actually be toxic oh So that is one thing But that the, we have to remember. But the old general idea was that every green vegetable. It's not an old or, idea. Or, it is still there. It is still I mean, working. It is still happening there. It's not that this whatever uh, we are saying is it's uh, what I feel or I think. But it is what I am, uh, what the doctors are telling me. 
what research reports are saying and what the news is about you know there having been actual deaths when people consume some of some you know there have been fatal cases like this where uh, people have died after having this kind of a uh, juice of raw vegetables okay so it can actually lead to death and that's scary that means we absolutely, just can't absolutely. consume anything because it's fruits and vegetables fruits and ve- vegetables especially i think fruit juices yeah. are safe because Still. we have fruit raw as it is we don't cook it mm. so a uh, fruit is edible in its raw state whereas vegetables, vegetables are not, are not. Not all. Some vegetables may be. Definitely. Some vegetables may be like cucumber and all some other carrot. Yeah. Some could be, but not all. Yeah. Agreed. And mixing up the juices could we don't really know what could happen, how they are going to react, and this is this is what this news also tells us. Look at the various doctors in various, uh, where they are in very senior capacity, and uh, they are in different hospitals, and this is what they are telling us. So, so there is this line that says kidney stones can cause long term damage if one is consuming large amount of veggies especially with citrus fruits they should increase water intake and get themselves examined regularly to get a status of their health and there was another line uh, which i would like to uh, yeah, bring yeah, this yeah, yeah this bring this into notice yes that if uh, that vitamin c actually if there's a lot of vitamin c in your uh, uh, diet that leads to the absorption of oxalates and a lot of oxalate will lead to uh, crystals of uh, oxalates being formed which is nothing but the kidney stones and kidney stones can actually be very fatal in certain condition in certain cases so yeah i think we sh- but i that just you know leads me to one question all this uh, you know we have been eating salads with Nemo, always we always do that with lemon it's, it's juice actually a regular part it's of our such diet. a regular thing it's a regular part Should of our diet we start questioning that too maybe be, be more careful in our choices that maybe because tomato is a big source of oxalate and we definitely add nimbu according to our taste lemon yeah we add lemon to the salad then i think we must we must stop that because you don't know this, because this needs this needs more uh, study this needs to yeah. be thought about and researched yeah. we need and to be we careful we definitely we definitely need to learn more about this yes definitely 